Hello, good morning, and welcome to Stormworks Build and Rescue. This is a game where you build various vessels and try to rescue things. Let's get right into it. Welcome to Stormworks. So, this is a game I used to play a lot over on my Twitch channel, and it's been a while since I've played it. And I thought it would be kind of a good idea to go ahead and do some building. I thought it would be fun for me to do on the channel, and just to do in general. So today what we're doing is we're building a speedboat. We're building just the hull and you know that's about it. We're just building the hull and trying to get it to float. I think it was a good idea for the day. I had a couple other ideas of things I could build, but I figured this was easy enough for me to do considering I hadn't built anything in a long time in the game. So basing it off of a speedboat design I found online that uh, is based on a Corvette. It was really interesting. I have pictures of it in my Discord, which is linked down below, uh, but you should also be seeing one on screen right about now. I think it's a kind of a cool design. We don't really hit it perfectly, but I think we came pretty close and it has our own flair. And also just kind of, Stormworks is slightly blocky, so it's kind of hard to get the luscious curves that this ship has, <laughs> if you will. I really struggled with this bit up here and getting the shaping in because I want it to be really round coming from that wider midsection to a thin point. I never really got it. <laughs> it was kind of a mess of just messing with the different shapes, trying to just fit it. I spent a while trying to do that and uh, all for naught. I think I just ended up doing something like this in the end, yeah. This has always been my big problem playing Stormworks is just the different shapes and trying to get them to mesh together. I just always struggle with that. So now we're moving on to the actual cab of the ship. So the ship, the speedboat, it's not a ship at all. Kind of? I don't really know. I don't, I don't know how the wording for that is, ship, boat, I don't know. But we're building cabin. I really struggle with the windows on this one. Again, it's one of those really hard angle blocks and there just aren't a lot of options. I think there are some mods that add some more though. And I have to look into that because that might be fun. But we're just kind of putting in these windows. Sadly, the roof is a little higher than I'd like, and it gives it this really top-heavy feel for a little bit. It's not that bad, though, so I kind of just shrug it off. This I'm really happy about is the curve of the roof. For some reason, I like it, even though it's got that really square point at the center. Not center, but you can see it. And it came together. So now we're doing the doors, and we're doing wing doors. I personally love wing doors on anything. I've always wanted a Tesla Model Y since they came out. They have the wing doors. I don't know, I think they're great. So we're having wing doors on this. It's just as simple as that. Although I think they're going to be a problem for us in terms of letting water into the ship. Because when the ship spawns and storm works, it falls. That's just kind of how it works. It falls pretty low. So water can get in and it's a mess. This was a really odd part, so what I want this to be here is a compartment where you can see into the engine. That was something I saw on the design of it, I thought it looked kind of cool. I wanted to emulate it a little bit. But the problem is I couldn't quite get the shaping, so it looks a little rough around the edges. But I think it's fine in the end. It just isn't as smooth as I'd like, which is kind of the theme of this boat, just in general. Not as smooth as I'd like. Alright, so now we're kind of doing the back part of it, and this is really where it looks like a Corvette. Because if you look at a Corvette in real life, it has this kind of like, well, I think like an older Corvette has this. I don't, I don't know about newer ones. They kind of like slope down in the back, kind of like this. So I think it looks really cool when it's sitting in the water. It just, it has a cool vibe to it. I don't know. And then we even add, I don't think this happens for a while though, but we add a back platform on the bottom, which makes no sense to me because the doors are on the sides and there's no other way onto the ship. This thing is not going to be an easy thing to get in and out of by any means because the doors are up there and you'll see the water line is very low down compared to the doors later so it really creates a struggle so back here i did want to add another door like an engine access panel but i never actually did it when i was building this whole piece so it'll probably happen in the next episode i don't know i think it'd be interesting to do i'm also i don't know if i mentioned this the stormworks update comes out in a couple weeks and I'll plan on doing more Stormworks content on my channel when that happens, like uh, maybe a rogue mode or a survival mode playthrough. I haven't decided which ones. I don't know how many cheaty features I want yet. Uh, I kind of want to be able to teleport, but at the same time, that's a little cheaty. 
I think I'm gonna have limited fuel on because I think there's a whole logistics management you need to do. So that's the back platform I was talking about. And here I'm actually making the ship longer. I read, so I was doing a bit of reading online of what lengths of speed boats uh, before I started. So I can figure out kind of a good length if this was a bigger, big enough area to work with. And it said the longer the speed boat, the faster it is. So I took that to heart here and I made it as long as I possibly could. It's the same length as the space it's sitting in right now. So this was a really interesting challenge. The front point of the ship, they couldn't figure out the sloping of the hull, the bottom side of it. I don't remember the word for it. I guess this is the bow. So sloping it down, I kind of wanted to have, I don't know, a curve. It never ends up having one. Um, it's very flat. And it just kind of stays at that angle, I believe. And it was really hard kind of getting that top edge to mesh with the bottom. So I kind of have it overhang as a lip, and I think that in the end, that actually looks kind of cool. I don't know. And to me, it, it looks cool, and I think it kind of makes sense in a hydrofoil idea. Wait, it's a hydroplane idea. So boats can hydroplane, and that really works for speed boats because it helps them go faster because there's less mass in the water, so less drag. So it pushes the boat up in the air, and I think this is technically how you do it, although I think you do it lower down in the hull, technically. I don't know. I am not a boat expert by any means. I, I, I like trains more. Uh, I don't know. So <laughs> I, I don't know that much about trains either. I'm going to be completely honest. My name is Jason Train. I don't know about a ton about trains. Guess I'm a bit of a sham then, huh? We're, we're working on it, but why am I talking about trains? Um, yeah, so just the sloping just continues down. It really isn't anything special. It's another fighting the curves of Stormworks. That's basically what I'm doing for a majority of this. Although I think we're getting to a part where I did something kind of interesting that really will help us in the future. So to cool engines in this game, there's a couple of different methods of doing it. There's water cooling, there's radiators, and there's something else. What I thought, so we have this really odd shaping here. So I took a fluid import port, fluid port. We're gonna use that for water cooling in the future because we're gonna be going so fast, we can probably pump through a lot of water. No, I think, it, I feel like it's a good idea. It could backfire massively, but I think it's a good idea. Figure that out later. I don't really know how to do this yet. It'll be interesting, that is for sure. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, so we're doing the bottom side of the boat, and this was something that was really interesting to me because we kind of put it in a ballast. Does boats sit on water? Yes, they do that. Okay, I don't know what my brain, but I wanted to make sure it sat upright because it's really top heavy, so I put in a bunch of weight blocks on the bottom, just tried to keep it level. Here, I also wanted more curving, but Sadly, I couldn't get it to work. It just wouldn't fit. So now that we've finished the whole design, we can go ahead and see if it floats. This is really exciting. I don't know if it will. I really assume it will, but there might be a hole in it somewhere. And it might just do that. That's not ideal. What I'm assuming, so these doors right here don't seal. I think that's what's getting the water in when it spawns. It just kind of falls to the bottom. Because I don't think there's really any other holes that could be on this thing in the moment. Yeah, so it just kind of falls down. This should be an easy enough fix. Um, I mean, what we could really do as a test is just... Oh, no, we can't merge them. Um, I was going to merge them. What we can try to do, using sealable... The door sealable? I don't know what they're called. Uh, where is it? I don't know if this will seal without a full frame. What I'm thinking we can just do is add in sealables there, and then on the door side, like this, do this. Theoretically, Wait, uh, wrong piece. Theoretically, this would seal the edge there. Hoping. I actually really have no idea. However, I have no idea. Try to do maybe even add is a corner here. Like this. So it's even more encouraged to seal properly. That was something I was worried about while I was building this was, will the doors seal? I have... This is my best solution, and I think it will mirror. Yeah, it's mirroring, okay. The upper panel corner like this. You should theoretically see a door that can seal. 
preventing any leaks in. But I might actually need power to seal, and there's no power in this thing. What we can also try to do is make it slightly less heavy by getting rid of all these weights I put down here. I figured, ah, that's a good idea. All right. Let's see. Uh, maybe this is bad. Well, actually, no, it'd be fine, because there's blocks underneath. What I'm thinking is there might be a little tiny minuscule hole somewhere from the shaping of the hole. And that could be where the leak's coming through. So that would take a thorough investigation for me to figure out. So I might do that if this doesn't work. Also, I guess maybe somewhere back here could be bad too. So especially these windows, they really concern me. I don't know why they do, but they do. It's floating more than last time. I'll tell you that much. It's also less heavy. It's also entirely flipped over. Interesting. It is floating though. I mean, it is full of water. I mean, kind of? It might be full. Alright, here's another test we can do. Is we can kind of split off the cabin from everything else. So we'll just bring this to here. We'll pull a wall up along there, because I plan on that in the future. We actually do the interior of this thing and plug this little hole. Alright, and that will tell me maybe the cabin isn't tight, but the rest of the thing is. Yeah, so it's the cabin. Uh, it's these doors, probably. It does float. It floats pretty well. Just have to figure out the cabin problem. Actually, there's no water in there right now, so that's good. That's good. Um, I think there's one or two things we can do real quick. Real quick, kind of a relative thing. I don't know if this is actually even the height I would want the floor at. So we can really try to get these doors working. At least a basic version of them. Get a couple of batteries in. Actually, we'll put them down lower. Pick here. Let's put those weight blocks in so it kind of stays upright properly. Uh, weight blocks, here we go. Hi. There's going to need to be, we're going to need to set up bilge pumps inside the actual cabin area, I think, in case, because it looks like this will flood easily. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe a button to seal. Let's put it right here. I actually do plan on having buttons there in the future anyways. Then what we'll do is we will put in... Um, it's really hard working with these. If we look at the logic for them real quick, they take an input number instead of like anything else. So I'm not going to set up a whole system right now. Let's just use a throttle lever. And we can put it, I don't know, right here for now. That should let us open and close it. So, oh, this needs a controller start to seal. Um, if we come in here, for controller, just like this, it should help it. That that will allow it to seal. Okay, I need a frame piece. Hi, I need you. How do I use you? There we go. And oh, come on, up. Oh, all right, and then. Door edge controller, is that a thing? You can tell I work with doors a lot when I'm working on these things. Alright, so that will allow this to seal. Just like that. Alright, then we'll use the throttle. That will go to that. And we need to power everything. So power, 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 power these, power this. I guess we can logic up the other side too and see if it works. Right there and there. All right, let's spawn it. I don't even know if there's enough room for a person on the inside. All right, it is sitting up straight though. That's good. So, oh, I fell off. This is this is gonna be really annoying when it comes to this thing because I know it's gonna be hard to enter and exit. Okay, that's a problem. We've created a boat that doesn't really work well. I think once we get logic going and stuff, it might work better. I think what's also possibly happening is these sealable parts are getting caught, which isn't ideal. I don't know how we're going to get the doors to work, but that's something for me to figure out next time. So if you enjoyed, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more, because I'm going to do more Stormworks content, especially when the update drops. 
and I'll be seeing you all next time. Bye for now. Thank you.